Hello there, Aries. Okay, this is a bonus July 2023 reading for you. We're going to go into each one of the houses of the Zodiac and see what is going on for you. Okay, the first house, Aries. Let's see, we're doing self, physical appearance, body, and awareness. How others see you. And we have here the Four of Wands. Okay, they like to collaborate with you. This seems like a commitment, maybe. Or they see that you can be committed to a cause or you're all in. Okay, let's see. We have a Three of Swords, though. But there's some kind of pain, hurt. Okay, maybe someone sees that you look a little, um, a little sad. You know, they I almost feel like okay, they're looking at you and they're saying, Yeah, but you look a little sad to me, you look a little down. There's some kind of pain, some kind of hurt. Okay. Let's see. The second house, Taurus, money and values. How we value our personal resources here. And we have here Ooh, fairy stallion. So this would be like the chariot, cancer energy. Okay, so something might be moving forward, or you're trying to move something forward. You're trying to maybe get something off the ground. Uh, could be a business, could be some kind of um, project. I can't think of the word. Okay, let's clarify that. Oop, poppers. <laughs> Ace of Wands, passion, desire. Okay, so there might be something that you're passionate about trying to start here to um, gain some more money. It has a lot of value to you. Okay. Now let's go on to the third house. This is Gemini energy. Communication, teaching, writing, practical mind. We have here the hangman. Pisces energy. Hmm. So you're maybe waiting for something to happen. Maybe you're waiting for communication. Waiting to hear. Waiting to write something. Maybe waiting to teach something. You have to, um, you're on pause. You're hanging. <laughs> you're waiting. Okay, but you will gain something, a new perspective by doing this. So let's see here. Let's clarify. We have the Six of Swords. Okay. You might be feeling that you have to move on from something. Leave something behind. Your practical mind is saying, yes, it's time to move on. Time to leave. Maybe relocate. You might need to communicate this to someone. Okay, but it will be something for the better. Now, what about the four house um, cancer? This is home, nurturing, family, security. And we have here the eight of wands. Something is moving. Something is taking off. Um, or you might be fighting for a cause. Determination. Look at this. Definitely determined. Serious business here. You mean serious business. Okay, let's see. We have here three of pentacles. Okay, so this is some kind of... Maybe you're pushing to something to have conversation, to push something towards moving here to, um, to work together on as a team. Or something's going to come in quick to work together as a team. It has something to do with your security or your home or something around the family. Okay. Now, the fifth house is Leo. That's fun, creativity, children, risk, romance. And we have here the death card. So something's ending for something new to begin. There's uh, this Scorpio energy. Something needs to end. It might be rebirth, a major transformation going on in this, this house here. And we have the devil. Okay, so we have Scorpio and we have Capricorn energy here. The devil. There might be an ending to someone's addiction or someone's behavior. This you know, fun creativity. Maybe someone's having too good of a time. And maybe they're getting in trouble. Maybe, you know, recreational drugs or or drinking or you know something and that's coming to an end now maybe because there's too much of a risk here so yeah so there's an end to something maybe a bad habit It also could be that maybe someone's a workaholic too i mean it could be anything with the devil here obsessed about doing something 
or something that's not really too healthy was coming to an end. Now, the sixth house, Virgo. This is work, duty, service, help. We have here the sun. You're, um, I was going to say you're Angie. Why? I don't know why. Aries, you're not the Leo. Okay. Six, the sun. Some kind of happiness coming in here around your work, around what service you do. Something's going to be, maybe someone's, something's going to be illuminated on what you're doing here. Let's see. Seven of Swords. Ah, see, someone's being sneaky. Something's going to come to light. This And this is going to make you happy. I think if someone is doing something they shouldn't do at work, trying to get away with, maybe being lazy, maybe, um, you know, taking credit for someone else's work, this is going to come to light. Okay. So now, the seventh house, Libra. This is partnerships, relationships, um, awareness of others. And we have here, we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, there's some kind of burden that might be coming to an end here. Ten of Wands. I get a very strong workaholic. I almost feel like it's, for some of you, you're a workaholic and you're trying to slow down now so you can enjoy yourself. And you don't have to work as hard because this person who is maybe is trying to ride on your coattails and take credit for what you did is going to be exposed so they're going to realize, and you probably didn't want to be a snitch, so you didn't say anything. Hmm. But it's being exposed. That's for someone here. Okay, let's see about this Ten of Wands. The sun again. Look at this. Happy, happy for you. Oh, wow. So there's happiness coming in here. A lot of bright light. I think your your load is getting lighter. It's like you worked hard, and, and it's going to be um, recognized here. But then again, you might be... You're moving down to something new. You might be starting something new, a new business or something. Okay, so now let's move on to the eighth house, Scorpio energy. And this is intimacy, is shared resources, letting go, death and endings, also marriage and house. Let's see. We have here the five of cups. Someone's having a lot of regret, remorse for something. Maybe you're sad that you have to let something go because it looks like something you might be moving on from something. So you might be actually relocating for some of you. And maybe it might make you a little sad that you have to let go of it. But you, you know, it's something that has to be done here. And we have here the queen of wands. You know, this is the queen of wands is a way shower, a go getter. Um, a lot of passion, a lot of desire. And um, also very attractive. You might be letting go of something so that you can experience what you're happy about. It's it's all it's all gonna work out. You know, sometimes you need to end something for something new to begin. Some of you also might be, you know, now this is not for a lot, but maybe someone has to leave a marriage. It wasn't working. It's time to move on. Almost like you know, do your own thing. Male or female does not matter. Just the energy of the cards. Okay, so now, ninth house, Sagittarius, higher education, communication, um, spirituality, philosophy, ideas, and travel. So we have here the king of pentacles. There's some kind of stability here, something that you can count on, something that feels strong and stable. This could be your spirituality. This also um, could be that you have some solid ideas here. Um, or even the, you're comfortable with the communication that's coming in. Okay. Could be with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this could also be ending a relationship with a Capricorn. Now I just thought about that. I don't know if I said that or not. Okay. We have here Seven of Wands. Okay. You know, this person, like, she's got her crossbow here you know Aaron crossbow look at these things coming at her but you know I think you have full control of it you are standing above the rest and maybe you know you're under fire a little bit because you are achieving more okay just hang in there you know you're, you're, you got this now the tenth house is um, Capricorn energy is career and how you are seen by the world this is also your uh, recognition so we have here, we have the fool, Aries, Aquarius, energies. This is starting anew, taking a leap of faith. Um, 
real, willing to take a risk. The world see you as that. You're willing to take a shot, take a risk, try something new. You're not afraid to, you know, dip your toe in the water. You know. Let's see here. Why is the fool here? We have the Queen of Cups. They also see you as the world sees you as very nurturing, loving, maybe very intuitive. And the eleventh house, Aquarius. This is groups, friends, having a legacy, goals, and harmony. And we have here the seven of cups, options and choices and decisions. Okay. There's a lot coming in for you. You might have a lot of different options, or it just feels like you're busy. You may have a lot of friends around you at this time. A lot of choices. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. You're rich in friendships, I would say. A lot of options, a lot of people around you. Making new friends, commitment here. Also, it could be bringing in some fine abundance here, financial abundance. Okay, let's go on to the 12th house, which is Pisces. And it's secrets, it's karma, it's dreams. It's what you keep hidden from yourself. Past life, spiritual life. We have here, ooh, the magician. Ooh, okay. Aries, Aquarius, energy. You are manifesting here. Maybe, maybe you hide that from yourself, knowing that you can do whatever you want. You can manifest whatever you want here. And we have here the um, Page of Cups. There also might be a love offer coming in for you. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be anybody. Someone's thinking about offering their cup to you. Okay, now with the Magician, you have all the tools you need. You can manifest whatever you want here. So let's see. Manifest your dreams. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, you might be manifesting some kind of passion here. Someone coming in here quick. With their cup of love. <laughs> and we have the tower. It might be a surprise, a shock. Scorpio energy, Aries energy. So here's your energy again. So it's like something shocking happening. Coming out of the blue. Because the Knight of Wands moves quick here. So yeah, you might be manifesting this. Be careful what you ask for. Or, you know, whatever you think about, you bring about. So make sure you think positive. You don't want some some certain person to come in. And don't think about them. Because <laughs> you're bringing them in. All right, so now we have the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, you're going to manifest whatever you want here. The Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're getting attention here. I think you're doing quite well. Some kind of sudden shock, some kind of change here. All right, I'm going to leave this here for you guys. Um, I'm not doing all the little extras because I'm just trying to focus on your energy or your energy alone, not all these other people. Even they want to try to creep in here. Um, well, that's okay. Okay, at the end of each one of these readings... I have a link to the previous reading. So if you didn't catch that one and you want to catch it, it's important messages from Spirit, um, July 2023 reading, if you want to check that one out. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.